When it comes to food today, what do I want to talk about? Again, I want to talk about nature. Look around at what nature is giving you. Of course, you'll have your own arguments. There's pesticides. Out. Yeah, there are all of those problems, so make the right choices, but come back and get the point. What's on your plate? Is it more of what nature's given you or is it in a packet? Is it processed? Is it made in a factory? Is it depleted of nutrients? Does it have false marketing? Does it have long labels that you can't even understand? Does it have a lot of influencers to sell that one product? Because if you have a good product or you have something that's really good, it doesn't need to be sold. You'll never see an influencer holding an apple or an orange or a bag of nuts or any of that stuff because it sells its own message of purity and health. But anything that needs to be sold too much needs your minds to be manipulated and influenced. I'm not against influencers, don't get me wrong. I'm just asking you to be smart, to look beyond. Look beyond. It's nice. Influencers bring so many products to the table so we're aware that, hey, wow, this exists. This happens in the market. This is available. But go beyond that. Use a lot of vitamin C, which is common sense to decide finally, are you blindly going to buy something or are you going to do your own research? Read the label. Ask the brand questions. You know, does this really suit you? Because what you feed yourself is either going to feed disease or it's going to feed great health at the end of the day. When it comes to exercise, how many of you worked out yesterday? How many of did you at least did 15 minutes even if you didn't have time? You see, in our busy lives, it's very, very easy for us to find excuses. It's the easiest thing to do and then use these excuses to justify why we didn't do something. For example, oh, I'm busy. I have no time to work out. Now, that's a limiting belief system in your subconscious mind and you can change that to hey i'm busy but i find time for a workout and that's the way you want to start thinking so that your subconscious mind starts moving you in direction of finding time for your workout like i said everyone has everyone has the ability to make excuses but hey if everyone who's busy cannot work out that doesn't match up with the data there are super busy people who make time for their workout because they've made it important to them They've decided in their mind this is important. Their why power, why they need to exercise is powerful so that their choices and actions align to that. What do I want to talk about today when it comes to emotional health? You know, we've been doing this with a couple of clients around the world and I wanted to share this with you today. Before you sleep at night, I want you to reflect. Maybe you've done your prayer, you've done your breath work, you're off your gadgets. I want you to pick up two or three or one thing the next day that is your reason to wake up. Have a reason to wake up. Even though the day may seem to be bad, maybe you have some bad meetings planned up, things are not going well in your life, you gotta wake up and you know look after someone who's sick, fine, accept all of that stuff. But beyond that, before you sleep at night, try to find out that one or two things or one or two people that you're gonna meet the next day that could be your reason to wanna wake up that day. Put that reason in your mind before you wake up. You're blessed if it's your work, you wake up because you want to go to work, you wake up because you have something to do, a passion or whatever it is. That's great. But if you don't, before you sleep, try to find something and put that in your mind just before you sleep. That person that you're really looking forward to meeting tomorrow or that one thing that you're really looking forward to do tomorrow. Put that in your mind and then try to sleep. You, have, you always end up sleeping deeper and you end up waking up happier. Have a great day and peace be with all of you.